Join Chris and Kale for breakfast, lunch, and dinner in Springdale, Utah. Santa smoothie bowl? That's a road runner. Peanut butter, banana toast. Whoa. I mean, it's good. It's good, just huge. Yeah. Look at how much meat there is. I'm Anna and I got the tomate. Cornbread, a hard cornbread. Yeah, bread. it's got a little meat, it's got a lot of flavor. Very delicious. This is elk meatloaf. Very flavorful. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's very good. Springdale is located in southern Utah and behaves as the host city for the renowned Zion National Park. It shares a boundary with the park and rests in the shadow of the towering red, white, and pink striped cliffs that define the region. As host, the city provides hotels, parking, restaurants, and shuttle service for those exploring the beloved hiker's paradise. But with such close proximity to the Red Rocks, Springdale has breathtaking scenery all its own. With a population of just 500, local restaurants are guided by the taste of tourists. The dining scene is creative and fresh, yet laid back. This is right up our alley. We found Springdale to be the perfect spot to get fed, hydrated, and rested before our adventures. Cafe Soleil is a quaint diner with emphasis on healthy, organic, and local ingredients. The atmosphere is lively and fun, and there are plenty of vegetarian and carnivorous options alike. Their culinary creativity stretches across all three meals and is supplemented by delicious drinks such as coffee, smoothies, wines, and beers. With a summer 6 a.m. start time, this was a great place to get sustenance prior to our early hikes. Cinnamon. Cinnamon, though. Deep Creek Coffee is a great place to grab a caffeine burst and some delightfully fresh and fruit-laden breakfast. Their menu options were definitely what the doctor ordered as we prepared for our day's activities. The vibe within the eatery was so comforting and homey that we felt as though we were getting a bite to eat at Grandma's house before we headed out to the world-famous adventure country. Whoa! Look at 
at that. That looks really good. Zion Canyon Brew Pub is a place to relax just south of Zion's main entrance. Here you can feast on comfort food while taking advantage of the neighboring Zion Brewery, Southern Utah's first microbrewery. The pub operates separate from the brewery, but tag teams well to serve up tasty gastropub meals with unbeatable views, live music, and of course, a wide variety of fresh craft brews. The Whiptail Grill is housed in a converted gas station and is the local hotspot for Mexican fusion cuisine. They use a green approach to delivering Southwestern and Asian twists to burgers, pizza, and vegetarian meals. Their portions are substantial and probably best suited for dinner, but lunch is doable, just don't have a rigorous afternoon hike. The food is simply amazing and may be enjoyed with the misted outdoor seating amongst the stunning red rock backdrop. began as a roadside bar and eventually opened as a restaurant back in 1981. The restaurant became known as a place to get exceptionally unique and flavorful food in a picturesque setting. The bar was a place to shoot pool, listen to live music, and huddle around a fire in the winter. Today, the restaurant serves up creative Mexican-Italian fusion fare that perfectly complements the rustic decor and gorgeous backdrop. Oh, I got the chi chi chili relleno, which comes with some sort of beans and, and rice. But I also have the side of the Brussels sprouts. I didn't try the Brussels sprouts. I'm Anna, and I got the tomate. <laughs> Sweet potato tomales for the side of elote, street corn. Rosa Marina. Yep. So it's got Rosa Marina sauce, garlic bread on the side. I got the uh, chili verde pot pie. Chili verde pot pie. Oh my god. It smells really good. Too. 
that like a corn? Yeah. Cornbread, a hardened cornbread. Yeah, bread? it's really hard. It's got spice. It's got a little heat. It's got a lot of flavor, and the textures are out of this world. The Spotted Dog Cafe is an upscale yet casual bistro, part of Flanagan's Resort and Spa. That's a cool effect. It sports an art-filled dining room and is dedicated to handcrafting cuisines using fresh local produce, hormone-free meats, and sustainably harvest fish. Since 2009, it has been a recipient of the annual Award of Excellence by Wine Spectator magazine. For us, it provided a fine dining experience without the stuffy atmosphere. Very delicious. This is a uh, elk meatloaf. Wild game. The rice. Very flavorful. It's kind of like it's cooked in some sort of broth. Mm hmm. Well, that's very good. Put a vegetable over here. Check that out. Thanks for joining Chris and Kale for breakfast, lunch, and dinner in Springdale, Utah. Thanks for watching. We hope this gets you excited about getting out and exploring on your own. Click to the right to subscribe. Click to the left for more adventures.